Okay, Joy, what is the White House saying about his condition right now? Uh, well, actually, um, they put out a letter and uh, they've been saying that his symptoms are fairly mild, a dry cough, fatigue, uh, that sort of thing. And he is taking an antiviral, uh, Paxlovid, which helps to keep some of those symptoms mild and, and that this COVID strain doesn't become more severe, affecting organs, et cetera. Uh, but it's pretty remarkable when you think about it. Two and a half years into this virus, and we now know the dominant strain here and it is this BA5 that's highly contagious. One doctor told me it's, it's as contagious as measles, mm -hmm. that, that he hasn't gotten COVID uh, by now. Remember, he was in Israel, Saudi Arabia, in Massachusetts yesterday, talking about climate emergency and, and the heat wave. So it really is remarkable. Remarkable, But given his age, 79, it's something to be concerned about. Well, absolutely. And that was going to be my next question. Um, has there been sort of any update on his health prior to COVID? Uh, he's not a necessarily young man. He is 79 years old. Um, what are the biggest concerns for him right now? Well, the biggest concerns regarding COVID is it, they're watching to see if his oxygen levels drop. And you may remember, I remember very mm -hmm. well, uh, when former President Donald Trump, his oxygen levels dropped. He couldn't breathe very well. They, they rushed him to Walter Reed Hospital. And at the time, he was not vaccinated. Uh, they gave him just about everything they could think of. And we found out much later that it was really touch and go. It was really much more serious than he had let on. Uh, but again, and given his age, 79. Now, it's interesting because yesterday he was talking about COVID and this new strain, this new wave. But here in America, you know, it's a collective shrug. People go, pandemic? What pandemic? Mask? Forget about it. Yeah. I, I mean, really, there is that attitude that after so long, they just want to move on with their lives. Um, but, you know, uh, there are strict protocols at the White House. Reporters uh, have to be tested every single time they're in the White House for a briefing. Uh, staffers wear N95s around him. Um, but so far, so good. We will get an update later this afternoon. We will look for that. Joy Malbin in Washington for us. Thanks, Joy.